Okay, I'm here with Ken Valentine and he's going to go through and pick out a few cars he'd like to move. Starting out here, is this a 55 Ken? Yes sir, 55 Cadillac. Uh, it ran two years ago. Pretty good runner. Came from Washington State. It has been rebuilt once before. Uh, Elvis Presley bought one for his mom. Except it was pink. Somebody to love on it. But it's a pretty solid car, there's no rust issues with it. It is for sale for six thousand. And I would get it running for you. Six thousand and it'll be running. Real straight car. Got all the glass in it. Uh, some glass is broken. Yeah. I'll pick on her now. Okay. And then this 55 is 55 model. 55 and this is a uh, Thunderbird. Thunderbird. I think it's a 61 or a 2. Uh, uh, the motor was rebuilt. Never put on the road. It was an older man's son's project and the son died and then the, dad, the old man died. I bought it just before he died from him. This is 61, I can't see. Yeah, I think 61, 62 had the rocket tail lights, I believe. Right. How much for this one? Start at six thousand, I guess. Also, six thousand yeah, in the but motor. We'd, but we'd work, work it, I, and I, I don't think I'd have a problem getting it running. Not, not a rust bucket. And the engine you said is pretty, pretty recent. It was a well, pretty it was, recent. It was freshly rebuilt when I bought it six, six, seven years ago. Okay. Okay. What about anything on this old bill? I worry about this one. Don't worry about it. Mm. I don't. Not, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even put that on your deal. Not interested in selling <laughs> no, it. Okay. Don't put it on your. Uh, How about this wagon? I had a few nope. people ask about wagons. These two go together. Go together. Yeah. LS motor. But do you, that's what I was going to put in there. And this 55. I think hard I, top. I think I got it listed for five thousand. That's it. Okay. Price is going up on it. Anything on the Cobra? Here's the 40 Ford. We got that listed for like. I think it's like twenty nine 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 nine. Yeah, it's badass. Uh, I'd make a deal on it somewhat, but it runs and drives beautifully. Uh, Mustang two steering, uh, nine inch Ford rear, tubbed out, bad to the bone. Fast car, nice car. Nice car. Leather interior. Yep. Kind of got a buckskin interior color. Yeah. The keyless entry. I'd have to get the uh, button for it to open it. I've got pictures of it already on the website and videos. Okay, Mustang 2. Cobra. This car runs and drives real well. Uh, the carburetor needs a little fixing up right now. Oh, and tune up. Yeah, if, you got, if I had a serious. Uh, I would, is it an automatic or? Oh, it's a uh, four speed. Four or five speed. Four or five. No, no uh, rusted out issues. It's got surface rust on it, but uh, it's a solid car. How much for this one? Lots of parts. Um, here, look at look at how nice this interior is. When there's a whole back piece of parts. This would be a good young man's project car. But it wouldn't take a whole lot to pull that seat make, cover up. Make it happen. Needs a little seat repair in a driver's seat, which is normal. And it is a four speed. Four speed, okay. A real Cobra. 70, 76, 77, I don't remember right now. Did you say how much? Maybe five, 
Right. Start out. Start at five. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I'd work on it price wise. This little Mercury Comet. Mm -hmm. The Cobra has a 302 in it also. 302 on the yeah. Cobra. Yep. <clears throat> and so does the Comet, actually. Okay, how much for the Comet? Uh, 7500 Okay. It's a 1961, I believe. I got pictures and stuff of it already. Yeah. And it's not. Uh, not any th major rust. Uh, and it runs. I think it probably could use a floor pan. Oh, yeah. It runs, okay. Yeah. May need a floor pan. Yeah, the, the front suspension uh, needs some going through. Some uh, work. It okay. felt a little loose when I was driving it last. All I right. drove it up to the car show a couple years back. What about this 1969 Mustang Fastback? Not really. Not really motivated to sell that. <laughs> I would sell it. Uh, probably 16,000. Okay. And the motor that's in it, I'm sure is nothing good. Although it's a big block. Have to be, every, everything three, have to be redone. One 400 big block. Board. Okay. All right. And then the 65 Mustang Fastback. What, tell us the story on it. If, uh. If the guys who left the deposit for it, I'm going to give them one more chance to come up and get it. If not, they can have their $500 deposit back and I would sell it for $15,000. 15. No more deposits. Just come pay to get the car. I got to get paid commission on these things. I can't be go. sitting for a year and not getting paid. All right. So this car. Is a six cylinder car with no motor in it. Uh, there's a lot of parts that would go with it as far as metal parts. And it is what it is. Okay, did you, this didn't have an engine and tranny for it? No. Okay. I, so I this, could give somebody a 302 engine. This is a rolling, rolling body. Fastback, 65. 65 Fastback Mustang, originally a six-cylinder car. Pretty it's, cool looking car. And somebody's put new wheels on it, right? Because it's five lug now, instead of four. So, is it still four lug? Yes. Okay. All right. Anything else? Is Anything else that you want to uh, you look feature? at it? Look at it, and, and if you think you need anything, call me up. I'll tell you prices on them. Probably easier for the old cars. These are these are the cars that are right in front of my house that I enjoy looking at every day. Okay, and I've got this 35 Buick listed for $8,000. i have got several people that's asking about it. The difference between the Buick and these other cars is the Buick has different modern front suspension. It has a modern rear end under it. It was started to be restored maybe 10, 12 years ago when I acquired it. And I sold it once for 7500 I brought it back again because the guy I sold it to two years later called me up and told me his wife is pregnant with twins. And I had told him if you ever want to get rid of it, let me know. So I did. I bought it back, I think for seven, and now it's for sale for eight. Okay. What we got here, Chevelle, what year model? 71. 71 Chevelle. Oh, Malibu. 350 motor in it. Nobody ever messed with it, never tried to restore it. Original car. Everything's there. Uh, I, the, the pans are rusted. It has, it has a little bit of rust wherever they normally do. Okay, floor pans have got some rust. Right. And how much you want for this one? 7100. Is it an automatic? Yes. Automatic on the column? Yeah. On the column? No. 
It's an automatic. On the console? On the con it has a console. It's a bucket seat car here. Bucket, bucket seat car? car. Yeah. Automatic yeah. on the console. It'd be a good one to, to uh, make a muscle car out of. Okay. You're not, you're not ready to do anything with this no. Mustang yet? No. That's a beautiful Mustang right there, guys. Gals. I <laughs> don't tell them. They don't, need to, they don't need to tease them. Put that one on your wish you, list. You'll get wore out by phone calls. <laughs> Why waste your time with it? All right. Here's a 67 Mercury Cougar XR7. 302. Three speed standard car. I've been. Three Here speed, and there three with speed it. on the console. Stick. Bucket seats. And I'd sell it if somebody wanted it. I think I got this one listed for twenty nine. Twenty five. I'd sell it less than that. I, I would uh, I'd probably sell it for if I if I tell you my bottom you're gonna yeah. You're gonna people are gonna want to go lower than that and I, I really don't like messing around with that. So let me say 24, okay, 24. and I'd work a little bit down from there. A little wiggle.